2019 municipal budget is on the agenda. The non-grant funded portion of the budget will increase 0.68% over last year. The tax increase will be slightly more, 1.5% due to the use of less surplus and a decrease in total county rates. For an average assessed home of $436,000, the increase in municipal property taxes will be under $30 per home. Our capital plan includes an increase in the amount spent on paying down the debt, and decreases the amount of notes to be issued, which will have a net effect in reducing the township debt by $170,000. The Washington Township Police are hosting on April 10th at 7 p.m. an opioid discussion in conjunction with the Narcan presentation and Narcan training, <coughs> along with the Morris County Sheriff's Office and the Hope One Band. The market at Long Valley will be back on June 6th at East Mill Road, the same location as last year, the field between Long Valley Pharmacy and Long Valley First Aid Building. The market will be held on Thursdays from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. up until October 17th. Please visit the township website, www.wtmorris.org, for more information. <coughs> at a February 22nd hearing in the Superior Court, the township was found to have satisfied its affordable housing compliance conditions and requirements and granted a judgment of final compliance and immunity from the Mount Laurel lawsuit subject to an adoption by an affordable spending plan. There is a resolution to adopt the spending plan which will cover the township through the year 2025 on tonight's agenda. At next month's work session, we will revisit options for the former site of Birth Eagle at the intersection of Flocktown Road and Schoolies Mountain Road. Lastly, there is some confusion about the energy aggregation program which has started now, this month, and also from the wording of the notification from JCPNL. There are a few points of clarification I'd like to share. First, the energy aggregation program was created by the state of New Jersey and is highly regulated by the Board of Public Utilities. Second, the township has joined the Hunterdon Area Cooperative. Participation by the township in the cooperative was approved by the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs. This cooperative, like the Morris County Energy Area Cooperative, solicits bids in energy in accordance with the state's energy aggregation and purchasing laws and regulations. IDP was the winning bidder for both of the co-ops. The rate for the 100 co-op was slightly less than the Morris, and the winning bid was 0 0.0863 for the supply portion of the bill for a term ending in October 2020. This rate does not change during the entire time, and your JCPNL shows a quote, rate to un compare, unquote, for the supply portion. The regulations require that residential customers participate in communities to opt out. The regulations do not allow for the program to be offered on an opt-in basis, and customers can opt out at any time by calling 877-292-3904. JCPNL will continue to provide all emergency and safety services, and will also continue to provide customer service such as meter reading, billing, and service restoration. You can also Excuse me. You will also continue to receive only one bill and pay it to directly to JCPNL. This topic was discussed for several months in public meetings at the Township Committee in 2018. An ordinance was introduced, advertised in the newspaper, on the Township website, social media, and a public hearing was held. In January, an information packet was mailed and posted online. Announcements were also done on social media and the electronic sign board in front of the police station and local media provided coverage. Three town hall meetings of different locations, dates, and times were held in January, and a video of one of those was even posted on the mayor's Facebook.